in the case while sitting on a beach in Oregon for an over long period of time, practically a day, I don't know, I got, I spiraled out a little bit, I guess, and I had this fanciful notion that for just one brief, almost immeasurable moment of time, the fabric of existence went whoosh, and just ripped open for a second and allowed me to peer through behind the clockwork that runs everything and sense that, I just had this sense that there really was a great perfect order behind it all. But the notion vanished so fast that all I really saw was the smoke trail when it went by. Whispering rain, careless emotion, rising and falling, waves on the ocean, carry you on till nothing remains. Only the sound of the whispering rain Life sometimes seems so uncertain Like a face that you see through a curtain Like a face without any eyes Like a kiss that means goodbye You love all you're left on your own You think you know but it's all unknown You think every day is the same Till you're washed by the whispering rain Whispering rain, careless emotion, rising and falling, waves on the ocean, carry you on, till nothing remains, only the sound of the whispering rain, I will stare like a gypsy. Into the sky And the moonlight Will search Into my eyes Till the strangest Sound Is my own name All inside me Is the whispering rain All the songs That sigh Among the trees All the time that brings you to your knees People helpless when love came Lost in the whispering rain Whispering rain Careless emotion Rising and falling Waves on the ocean Carry you on Till nothing remains Only the sound Of the whispering rain Only the sound Of the whispering rain Only the sound Of the whispering rain First and foremost, I'm a writer. That's, that's who I am. I mean, the, the foundation of who I am is somebody who takes what's out there and what's coming out of here and makes something out of it to try to, to, try to create something understandable out of it. Um, secondarily, I'm, I perform those things which I write because in a lot of instances it's been the case that they would never be heard should I, should I, should I not do so myself. So I've acted as a kind of roving art gallery, I guess, for the, for the songs that I write. The difficulty has come in the times, the music business being a sort of sign curve, that when you get successful periods, um, you become identified with what you're doing during that particular period of time. As a writer, that's a terrible thing, 
because sometimes your best and most instinctive works are written outside your own performance character. As a writer, you're just writing. Uh, you may write because you're inspired or influenced by Cole Porter or Harold Arlen. You may write because you're hugely influenced by Willie Nelson. You may write because you like Tchaikovsky. It doesn't matter, but stuff is always coming through you. You spend uh, two months in Jamaica, you're going to start writing stuff that feels quite differently. You're, uh, you know, it's always an enormous sponging of influences to, that, that come through you. So I, I've had my tensions with the fact that I am both a performer and a writer. And I've come to terms with that because now, I mean, I'm able to write songs and John McDermott records them, or I'm able to write songs and Barney Bentle records them, or I'm able to write songs and, you know, hot fingers crossed, but it looks like, you know, a band as wild as Junk House is going to record one of them, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, that's a very ongoing process with me. And I'm happy about that.